You're watching Big Faces Worldwide, the hottest new boxing channel on YouTube. Don't go nowhere. Big Face, y'all. Hey. Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talk nothing but this boxing. What's good with your fam fam? Hey, listen, man, when the news broke that Tyson Fury had signed a co-promotional deal with Top Rank and ESPN, um, a lot of the boxing world, including myself, we seen it as a dagger right in the middle of the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury rematch, man. Um, you know, when the money was announced, the type of money that ESPN was throwing around, man, I just couldn't see, um, you know, ESPN investing all this money and then straight putting uh, Tyson Fury in there with the most dangerous man in the heavyweight division, the Bronze Bomber, man. Um, you know, this announcement caught a lot of people by surprise, um, including Wilder and his team, Al Heyman, Shelly Finkel, um, you know, caught up the boxing public. Uh, by surprise, you know what I mean? Uh, Team Fury, MTK Go Global, um, you know, top rank. All of them kept this close to the chest, man. Um, nothing leaked out about it. And, you know what I mean? It was just like, a, you know, a, a, a shock. You know what I mean? A shock that, you know, this type of deal, deal would happen. You know, we all thought that they were in heavy negotiations to make the, the rematch. You know what I mean? Well, you know, all the negativity... Uh, must have got back to Frank Warren because Frank Warren put out a statement. Um, I'm going to read read to you uh, word by word so you get exactly what uh, Frank Warren had to say. Um, you know, it's a it's a little long, but you know, I want you to bear with me, man. And you know, I want to get the news to you correctly. Uh, this is what Frank Warren had to say, man. He says, "I am aware of the negative reaction from some quarters to this development." But believe me, major broadcasters do not stump up huge sums of money for big fights not to happen. You have to put this move into realistic perspective. Anthony Joshua has broadcast partners on both sides of the Atlantic and DAZN and Sky Sports. Deontay Wilder is aligned with Showtime, with PBC also having a deal over here with ITV and DAZN tied in with Sky. So is Tyson supposed to sit in the middle and not make the money his accomplishments deserve, as well as always being the away fighter when the big fights come around? The bottom line is that nobody is trying to put a spanner in the works of making the fight with Wilder. Even last night, Shelly Finkel, who was Wilder's manager, and I were trying to work out a deal. Negotiations are still very much going on, and that there and that is where we are at. Even Deontay has come out and said there are no contract contract issues from his side, so there will be no problem making this fight if that's the case. We are determined to make this fight. Tyson wants it, Deontay and Shelly want it, and so it's up to us to try to get it done, and we will work hard to do so. We've done a deal that is in the best interest of Tyson and have worked hard at it. Now we won't be holding, be holding to other people. Now ourselves and Tyson will be in the driving seat promotionally and our young fighters will also get a chance to fight to broaden their experience on undercards. ESPN with millions of customers on their ESPN Plus streaming service and watched in 85 million homes in America is the premier platform in the United States. And this move will make Tyson an even bigger noise over there after the huge impression he made last time around. So, you know, I mean, this, you know, I mean, this gives you some type of insight as to, you know, what Tyson and Frank and, you know, those guys were thinking by, you know, going into this deal, man. And I got to admit that, you know, from, you know, a neutral standpoint, it makes a lot of sense, man. Uh, 
Tyson Fury and, uh, you know, Frank Warren's Queensberry Promotions, they are just a small entity over here in the States, man. Um, and when you got, you know, in Wilder's case, got, uh, you know, the PBC, Showtime, and Fox, which are powerhouses, and then Anthony Joshua's case, you got the Zone and Match Room and Sky Sports, you know what I mean? Um, Tyson Fury was left to, you know, to seem as the the the, the guy on the outside looking in man you know what i mean so this deal with espn uh just you know puts him in a position that you know what i mean he's no longer the little guy he don't have to bow down in negotiations he can come to negotiations with his head held high man you know what i mean bringing you know the same thing if not more that the other two guys are bringing to the table man um and also if you notice in shelly's um you know shelly's um statement that you know he talked about you know the other guys that's uh under under his banner being able to fight on the undercards man i think that had a lot to do with the deal also man you know what i mean um getting his other guys the exposure of 85 million homes that espn is in man you know what i mean uh he want to get get those guys um known you know what i mean and uh from what i hear that they're working on something with billy joe saunders also man um and that was evident by uh, the announcement that Billy Joe Saunders will be um, fighting for the vacant WBO um, super middleweight title that was once held by top ranks uh, Gilberto Ramirez, you know what I mean, um, who will be moving up to light heavyweight, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, Frank Warren, I'm glad he came out with this statement, man. It puts a little bit more uh, insight on to, you know, just the thinking of 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 where they were at when they made this deal man and uh you know it's appreciated because he didn't have to put it out there he could have just left it up to our interpretation man but i appreciate you joining me man uh big faces worldwide if you're not yet subscribed to the channel don't leave out of here without hitting that subscribe button also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when i'm dropping more videos until next time peace i'll holler back